Right, I'm with uh, Senator Christina Moore in the Royal Square again. A few weeks ago it was the soup kitchen and I said to you then, nice to see you here, but I hope I don't see you again next year because it's a business we want to end. The same here today. You said you were reluctant to be here, but why exactly were you here today? Well, I think it's really important to show support for our public sector staff and um, everybody who contributes to the public services in Jersey. It is part of what makes Jersey special and we have managed to hold on to some aspects of public service that um, are not apparent in other places and I do think that it's important that we maintain that. Take the prisons for example. We've seen prisons privatised in other places and that has become an unmitigated disaster and um, and so I'm very proud and I was really proud to um, to have political responsibility for the prison service um, and, 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 and our other services um, when I was in that role. Uh, you were here but were you, would you say you were part of the demonstration today? Um, I took part in the demonstration, definitely, and I was very pleased to um, have an opportunity to address everybody and share my my feelings about the situation. So have I, you been radicalised? That's what I'm thinking. Have I been? You know. <laughs> it did feel rather odd standing next to uh, Reform Jersey uh, right. posters, but um, sometimes we can find some understanding across party lines, as it well, were. Your theme and obviously, was partnership, I, so I thought I don't, well, this could be a good sign, couldn't it? There you go. Well, you. We can collaborate sometimes, and I mean, we haven't collaborated as such on this matter particularly, but I do um, see where they're coming from in some ways. And I think Senator Mezek there had a slight dig at one of the points I'd made in my speech, which I mean, he's obviously entitled to do, so they don't quite see it in the same way, or and they wouldn't move in the quite the same way. I would have it for the, uh, the having the money available, I mean, it most certainly, it, yeah, it was. I who was absent on the day, I forget. Well, we'll see. When uh, now that they're going to bring it back, then um, you will support it, will you? I will. Yes. Generally speaking, I mean, it is a divided island. We've got on the one hand, like these people, public uh, service workers, and we've got other elements. You've got the soup kitchen. I mean, there are divisions, but the big division is the finance industry. We can't imagine ever holding a demo like this for the finance industry, can we? Mm, I don't know, actually. Um, I don't see it as a a source of division and it certainly shouldn't be because um, people in the pr private sector at all levels and in all spheres also benefit from our public services and one of the reasons that we have been a successful finance centre is because we're a place where people can rely on having good health care great teaching and uh, and that's an important part of anyone's decision to work in any place and so one goes with the other we also need one to be able to fund the other uh, and and that is part of what has made us a success in the past and I really think that we need to ensure that we can continue to do both things really well it sounds into okay, the future. But the partner, somebody came up to say well how do we work a partner? If it is a partnership, you'd have lots of finance workers here giving support to these people, wouldn't you? Well, I don't know if they were here. I don't know if there any. Obviously, mm. there will be a couple. There will be some. But In not, um, not noticeably so. In fairness, perhaps um, it wasn't that widely broadcast or, or the invitation. Sometimes people do have to feel invited and um, I think it has been specifically targeted at the uh, particular groups. And so I'm sure if the invitation was extended to other groups, then maybe they would want to come along and support it. But well, you, felt, you felt motivated to do it. Other people mm. ought to feel motivated or what, what motivates them? How do you get people saying, there's something going on there, I'll be part of that? Sure. Well, I think that's really easy, actually, because if you value the amazing public services that we do receive in the island and you want to see them continue to punch above their weight and to perform at a high standard then it's time to get behind and actually show your support for those services and your appreciation because gratitude as we all know and it's um, wonderful to see people supporting the Are idea of gratitude. Supporting other demonstrations in the near future? Can you <laughs> uh, you see enough, there is another demonstration coming up about minimum sentences for sex offenders. Okay. Now, you, when you were in home affairs that was one of the, the last bits of legislation that we were going through about offences, sex offences, sex offenders uh, offences. Sexual offences legislation That's was right. a really now, important... On that sort of theme, because the Attorney General was very keen to have higher 
punishments, more punishments. It didn't go down too well with your uh, panel that I actually do remember, or your, the panel that I went to when you were presenting it. There was uh, some concern about having your sentences and the processes yeah. that were involved. Would you yeah. support that sort of thing? Well, it's a known fact that there are now more um, older prisoners in our prison because of um, sexual offences becoming more um, known about and, and going through the court process and obviously the sentencing is a matter for the judiciary but it is um, important that uh, sentences re reflect Minimum sentences, is that, is that workable? Um... I would have to think about that and look into the legislation a bit more because it's obviously a fine line between what we legislate for and, and the powers of the judiciary and um, I wouldn't want to make a faux pas in that area. Well, I'm not a minister now, but there was no. a minister here today, one, I don't know if there are any others, there was a minister and there was a sister. Well, there were two minister. on the stage there, weren't right. there? The oh, environment yeah, and the children and housing minister. That's right. Yeah, yes, so it's, um, it's an interesting and uh, diverse group and that's what the chief minister says is so wonderful about it so uh, is that the partnership well can you get that sort of partnership we'll see whether the project works won't we proof will be in the pudding okay. nice to meet you and you <laughs>